So we left off here at uh, Tatsu, and uh, basically um, it's just it's still looking fine. On the weekly, it looks like an engulfing, which is really what you should be asking for after a long, uh, how do you say it? Yeah, just a long red candle. In my case, of course, white. But yeah, and then it looks also as if if we in the lower time frame had a little uh, retest <laughs> of both ranges. But you guys should look on Twitter what happened. There was a yeah. mistake with the deployer, but they bought that shit back up instantly. You might ask yourself, oh, what, the, what was the issue? So during this downtrend, the team didn't sell any tokens, right? Because they sell every 100 tokens or every 1,000, I think it was, that the marketing wallet gets. They, they sell that, of course, right? Now. They were doing that, they were conducting it, everything was well until then a mistake happened. They sold everything at once. Nevertheless, as you can clearly see reflected in the chart, they fixed that problem. You know, they bought that shit up instantly. Also, of course, some community members managed as well to do some arbitrage here and there. And um, that's basically the story. But it's a, it's a serious team. You guys know them. They work really hard and they fix this problem. This wasn't them, by the way, but this one was them. Nor was this one. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's really that's really it, to be honest. And but, but so far so good. I think um, I think I have never been so comfortable after, uh, behind the team, to be honest. I don't know about you, Robin, but uh... yeah, it sounds very promising. And uh, the communication was pretty good. And also the message that they're gonna do buybacks so was nice. Yeah, exactly. So that was pretty good. Now, before we jump into the real juice, which is on chain, we're gonna jump into another juice, which is Pano. Ah, which, yeah, yeah, Pano first. I can't see bro, the candle end there. It's not a fit on bro, the screen. The fucking candle is going. Oh my days, man. Well, we've been updating you guys already for weeks, for like for weeks. And I said it that we're likely gonna have a month. Um, yeah, month range and look until it broke out, forty days. I mean, come on, you could not, you could not time it any better. You could yeah. really not time it any better. We've been busy with them. We helped with listings. We help uh, not listing on exchanges, but by the way, I just Coin Gecko, uh, updating some stuff. Coin Market Cap. I personally helped him with the listing. Uh, and listen, guys, Alpha was nice. We enjoyed our time over there. And listen, it's uh, it's going. What can I say? You know, it's it's going. It's going. But it's going. It's going. And to be clear, two... guys, this is a breakout at the moment. So yeah, you can 100%. see some more impulsive price movements. We are three hundred and twenty-eight percent from the dollar target. Three hundred and twenty-eight percent, guys. We, when we bought, we bought literally here. Here is where we bought exactly here. Now, so the, Omar doesn't mean uh, that we have a hundred X then. We not not yet, but by the time we're at one dollar, absolutely. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yes. So, uh, guys, now back to the part two. We're back here now with on-chain analytics, and we're going to start off with my favorite, or it's going to be going back of my favorite list of on-chain indicators, but I'm going to tell you right now why. Well, first of all, let's start with this one. Yes, sir. Now, I've been very vocal about this nupul and this cycle looking more like this line over here right and we can see it consistently going having like higher highs higher lows right so now we are essentially at sort of the same price point as we were here yet our indicator is lower than it was back then here right now that's good to see and what we really want to see it also is when bitcoin crashes or has like a like a correction period, what we want to see is like these sort of correction periods, you know, that it takes weeks, three to six weeks and not two weeks to um, to get back to normal levels, right? Because for this long term or sorry, higher time frame indicators, you do need more time on those levels so that they can reset, right? It, the, the, the two week thing doesn't really count. 
that absolutely doesn't count. Nevertheless, we need to take what the market gives us. And this is at the moment what the market is giving us. So that's how I personally would look at it. More of these uh, peaks and bottoms. And then eventually get close to the blue area or actually accessing the blue area. Because this indicators now with the Bitcoin halving happening in two weeks, uh, two and a half weeks, sorry, and the indicators becoming less and less and less reliable, then you need to take things of the bigger picture more into consideration, like FA, TA, you know, PA as well, and, and then of now, of course, uh, on chain. So that's how I am personally looking at it. Now, moving on to this one, though. This one is, uh, I look at it more as if it was the 20, uh, 2021 uh, bull market. And basically, this one is the long-term holder nuple, right? And this one, when it enters the blue zone, basically, it's one to three months before it tops out and it starts reverting back, right? This is what happened back then here. This is what happened back then here. And likely what we will see happening around uh, the next upcoming four to five months right because now we're still right below the blue zone blue area but the moment we cross it then we need to have a ticker on three uh, of three months right and then it's going to be a really watch out time because likely we either see like a double sort of top structure ish or we just see like this one here boom straight down perhaps a dead cut bounce which we really didn't see here or you could consider this as the dead cut bounce, sorry, this you could consider it as a dead cut bounce. Nevertheless, it's shite. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's really that's really um, that's really about it. And then of course, the Bitcoin balance on exchanges. It's also a key indicator. You could pause the video and see which assets and um, which exchanges are accounted on this. Uh, on this indicator over here, which is the balance on exchanges. So yeah, make sure you guys read it, and know the exchanges. But to say to keep it short, we see that since beginning of this year, bitcoins have been leaving exchanges on an increasing rate, increasing rate. And I would bet on saying that this is a multi-year low. Actually, here, this is a newer low than what we have previously seen. I mean, we haven't been this low since back in 2017. So that's that should tell you already, guys, enough. <laughs> this should tell you already enough. So while Bitcoin is living exchanges at an exceeding fucking pace, that it, it, price continues to rally up. This means that people are more and more and more into Bitcoin, more into self-hostage, and that's really the key takeaway of this indicator. The moment it starts reverting, then we know that price will just start tanking and tanking and tanking. But until then, this is really what we have to work with, and it's good news. You know, nothing is being sold. That's really what you uh, should remember from this indicator. And uh, yeah, that, that 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 that's my dashboard, Robin. So yeah, you could touch uh, you could touch on yours. Perfect, man. So uh, let's do it. Yes, sir. And we have the dashboard called the um, the MM, the money map, of course, because we are to uh, make some fucking money. And <laughs> here we have the minor revenues. Uh, yeah, clearly seeing some uh, yeah some exhaustion when the peak here appears, and then the peak goes down again to below the red level. And after that, you always see the top being formed because the miners are the, yeah trade, taking profit on their revenues. And whenever there's a peak, just uh, know that uh, it's time to uh, look into uh, yeah, selling one of your yeah positions, just DCA out at the moment. Mm -hmm. And here, yes, uh, we have the Bitcoin extreme price checks. And of course, the last time I told you, the orange area is a dangerous territory. You don't want to be too over, yeah, too overexposed in this uh, area. Now we clearly touch upon, yeah, uh, a bit of more overheated area here, as you can see, with the green, uh, which it means the MVRV score is getting hot. And when the orange uh, period kicks in, I will definitely tell you guys because then uh, it's also time to take a little bit of profits. Mm -hmm. Now we are uh, really good. The indicator has been reset a little bit by the 
the recent pullback and uh, yeah now clearly with uh, the current support and bitcoin probably uh, with this monthly close above the all-time high then uh, yeah it's gonna look good also here we have uh yeah extreme interest and also a multi-year no an all-time high of the the address with bigger balance so a lot of new institutions a lot of new joiners in the market uh, which indicates these are, are probably one of the yeah, the early debtors or mid joiners of the yeah the life cycle of bitcoin again for the for the current cycle we are in and yeah looking to continue this uh, this pump but whenever you see a very big withdrawal over a big pullback from this uh, chart uh it's time to uh, really hold an account that uh yeah, you need to take some profits because these are the market movers, the, the bigger wallets. Um, you, yeah, let's uh, touch on this uh, real quick as well. The pie top, uh, pie cycle top indicator is very interesting because every time there has been a crossover, uh, it's was very fucking close to the to the cycle end, and it definitely definitely takes some profits again when this uh, happens. It can happen. It's not a zero certainty, but it can happen if the price action becomes very explosive uh, yeah which is it can be aligned with the halving uh, event of course it uh, makes sense and uh, the parabolic phase so when the par parabolic phase ends it ca can be a crossover but uh, yeah let's see what do you think about the pie chart uh, omar yeah so uh, basically the pie chart was something that you guys need to really take into consideration is that it was made in 2019 right and uh, the first two tops, at least the tops from 2017 and 2013, those were hand-picked, you know, they put them there uh, specifically. But the pi cycle uh, signal from 2021, that was actually triggered by the fucking um, indicator itself. Now, the key thing about that is that it, it, it flashed three days before the crash. That's insane. That's fucking insane. That's really accurate. Now, what do we need to take now into consideration is that as as the other indicators are now becoming more uh, like less and less and less reliable because of the pure pipe uh, buy pressure that we're getting from from uh, these ETFs and people just being scared of not having any Bitcoin or crypto as a whole. Those guys, uh, those indicators are becoming less reliable because they're going to get overheated and they're going to break previous levels that have not been broken in like the past decade. Right. So that's really the key takeaway. And what I really want to emphasize is that perhaps the next, if we get a Pi cycle top uh, warning signal, perhaps that that will really be the signal you really need to follow, you know, because it's still far. It's still doing its thing and you really need to be careful. So especially when that signal triggers. Oh, boy, run. Like it's cash the fuck out and run because I think, I think it's gonna be a huge one, to be honest. I, I really think it's gonna be a huge one. But the key will be to use this in combination with our FA, PA, and TA analysis, and because you cannot fully rely on one indicator. So we're, that's why we're also doing, for example, the part one yesterday, right? This higher time frame uh, chart, uh, <coughs> this high time frame chart uh, charting videos because then we get to see the full overview of the picture and combining that with on-chain analytics then that tells you enough so uh, yep. yeah that's really that's really it to be honest and for me also uh, one thing to hold an account there's a uh, yeah of course uh, some new do data some new data available which is on chain on chain data of blackrock the bitcoin etf and when you see the bitcoin etf uh, total volume of buys uh, here and yeah, you can see, clearly see the uptrend still, uh, yeah, being uh, yeah, uh, played out. And of course, when you see a reversal here, it's also an indicator of yeah, Bitcoin eventually topping. When you see a clear, clear rounded uh, mm -hmm. uh, reversal in the interest of uh, of these ETFs. Yes, sir. So uh, yeah, add that to your uh, to your books for your for your definite uh, yeah, decision to sell or buy. Yeah. Indeed. So that's what I wanted to add to this story. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, I think that's good enough to be honest. All right, all right. All right. Anything to touch on? No, to be honest, just to congratulate everyone that bought with us and that now is in massive profit, literally massive profit. So you guys know who you are. You, I think you got already a shout out on the part one video. So uh, yeah, make sure guys 
to uh, join our uh, Telegram group, which is uh, the link is in the description down below. Follow us on uh, on YouTube. Turn on the ring bell because you really want to get notified when we start when we start selling because it's gonna happen. Hopefully not soon, but it's gonna happen. So uh, yeah, that's really it, man. Buy some pano before it goes to one dollar. <laughs> Celebrate and uh, yeah, enjoy your Eastern, guys. Yes, sir. Enjoy your Eastern. All right, guys. Take care and uh, bye bye.